Hey guys, so today what I'm going to do is um, demonstrate how to create this isometric cube um, with the isometric top plane circle, right plane circle, left plane circle, um, creating this cylinder, um, a top plane cylinder and a left plane, I'm oh, sorry, a right plane cylinder here. Okay, I'll be using my pencil, which is a 0.7 um, lead, a triangle, and this template, um, which is isometric ellipse guide. Okay, and that's all I have. All right, so let's get this. Let's get started. I am using um, graph paper from um, printfreegraphpaper.com, print free and this is an isometric quarter inch grid, and every um, Every segment on this is, is considered a quarter inch. So that's what we're doing, that's how we're using this, and that's our scale for this little drawing, okay? All right, here we go. So uh, first thing is to create the, um, the cube. So I'm gonna start um, down here at this point, for example, and then measure out six units to make an inch and a half, inch and a half by inch and a half cube. So one, two, three, four, five, six to here, and just using my triangle to draw that out like this, and then same thing going in the left direction here. One, two, three, four, five, six, out this side. And then vertically as well to here, okay? Once I have that finished on this, on the isometric here, I can just go ahead and just start creating it from there. I don't need to count my lines. I can just kind of visually see this, that this is gonna intersect here and draw that and bring this across like this. Hang on just a second while I change my lid. Here we go. All right. I'll create this, uh, create this part up here up to there. Create the vertical as well. And part back here to there. And then this part over here. All right, so there's my cube. And then um, to create the asymmetric circles, what I'm gonna do is create um, center marks in this to has a guide, okay? So in the top plane, the top plane, the center marks in like this, and this creates a center mark in the top plane. And this allows me to orient the, um, the template as well. In the right plane from the center, I should be going vertically like this, and then across the surface, across the right plane, horizontally across the right plane like that. That creates a center mark for that one. The left plane, again, from the center, again, it's vertical. And then across the horizontal in the left plane creates the part of this, okay? So whenever you're creating your isometric circles, make sure you have these types of center marks, which will help you guide you what you should do, okay? So, so this is an inch and a half by inch and a half, inch and a half. So I'm gonna choose an inch and a half uh, template, this one here, and Notice that when I line this up, I'm looking for the center first of all, and I'm looking toward these marks that line up with the grid, okay? And as soon as it lines up like that, it kind of locks in like that, that I can go ahead and draw it in. So I'm looking for these four marks here. And as I bring it around like this, it should be pretty close to where it needs to go like that. It's pretty close, okay? So a top plane circle, all right? So top plane. Uh, my right plane circle is going to be leaning the template to the right like this, okay? And again, as soon as, I, as soon as I see the center mark like this, I'm looking for the top and the right and the left marks on this guide to line up like this. Go and draw that in like that, okay? So it should like lock in into your eye um, every time. For the, for the left plane circle, same thing, I'm going to lean it to the left until it locks in place like this, all right? So, this, so the template locks into the grid. I'll go ahead and draw that in. Like that, there we go, all right? So we have our um, top plane, right plane, and left plane. Circle, okay? There we go. Just um, what I wanna do now is I like, create a, a three quarter inch um, cylinder coming off the left plane here. So I'll choose my three quarter inch um, template guide, and I'm just gonna use the same mark for this because it's on the same surface, beginning on the same surface. And I'll line it up with the mark again. And again, I just line up these one, two, three, four marks. I'll draw that in. Okay, so there's that one. And then I want it to extrude out this way, um, a half an inch. So from the center, I'm gonna count off one, two points. One, two points this way. So half an inch this way. I'm gonna erase part of this here because it's gonna be in the way, okay? So one second point us to here, 
I'll go ahead and create the um, the mark, this, and then vertical, like that. Okay, so there's my mark. It's gonna be extruded like that, and I can go bring in my my template, and again line it up with this mark. So this is kind of the tricky part here, making sure the mark is the center, marks in the middle. Looking for those four connecting points like this that are lined up. Draw this in like this. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and create the the tangency line, which is on the edges of the circles out here. So where it touches the edges of the circles out here, bring that out. And it should be an isometric angled line, which goes from edge to edge like that, okay? Now let's clean this up. I don't need this center mark anymore. These edges, we're down below. All right, so there you go. So there's your cylinder coming out. Not perfect, but um, just kind of show that how, how it comes up out from the surface there. Okay, for a, um, if I'm just in space, I'm going to erase this one here so you have a little more space, this little note. And I'm going to put a, from this point here, if I create a, a one inch template, I'm going to do a top plane cylinder coming down. Again, as long as I have the center mark like this, from my top plane center mark, it should be going the same direction. And I'll use the one inch uh, template guide. And again, a reminder that the one inch means that you have, should have four segments across from this side to this side. So one, two, three, four, that's how you measure across um, the template and across the isometric top plane circle, okay? So this is lined up now in the four points for this one. Draw that in. Okay, that's the top of the cylinder. I'm gonna come down one, two, three, four, five, six. So an inch and a half down to here and create my mark like this and I'm going to go ahead and create this top plane circle right here at the bottom and line that up and go ahead and draw this in like this and there it is in the bottom there and I'm going to create the, um, the side marks here on the sides as I'm putting this in here like this so bring that tangency edge down and then this one as well here we go. All right, and I'll erase the back part of this bottom circle. Don't need that for this cylinder. There it is. So there's my cylinder. All right. For the uh, the right plane circle, um, I'm going to create um, a right plane center mark here. There it is. And go ahead and use like a I'll use a, a again a one inch. And again, it's just leaning just like this one's leaning to the right here. I need to lean this one to the right to line it up with my mark. Okay, there it is. One, two, three, four connection points. Draw this in. I'm gonna go back this way. One, two, three, four to here and create my mark. And after you get going, you don't have to create your center marks, but it does kind of help um, initially to kind of see where things are. And it should be in this direction like this. I'll bring it back to here. Line it up with the mark that right there, locked in with the four points again. One, two, three, four. And I just need the, the outside edge here like that, that's all I need. And I can draw in my edges like this and draw these in like that. And then this one on the top, across the top edges. There it is, all right. Clean that up a little bit. And there we have it. So we have our inch and a half cube. We have our top right and left plane circles, our left plane cylinder coming out our top plane circle cylinder coming down and then our left plane, I'm sorry, right plane cylinder from here going back. Okay, hopefully that helps and um, that's it for now. Have a great day. Bye.